Hello everybody and welcome back to Ethiopia, where we are currently a rounding error away from embracing enlightenment. I mean, we'll have to take out some loans, but it'll be fine. Also, we're making 32 ducks a month with our army maintenance at full, which makes me think we should recruit these last two royal mortars for this army. There we go. We'll go ahead and do that real quick. And then we are going to need to take out some loans to actually do this, but let's let's keep ticking forward a little bit until we know exactly how much this will cost. Well, Safala, you gonna tick down? Getting us that that extra little bit of rounding error that we need? <laughs> no, not quite yet. Maybe this month. It should be any moment now. Quality wool. Hey, free money. Recent shipments of wool have been of unsurpassed quality, earning our nation extra money. Fantastic. Well, that's maybe one less loan that we'll need. It is, of course... 9 September 728, our truce with the Ottomans is actually up. Their independence is guaranteed by revolutionary Hungary. Huh. Hungary would not actually join. Maybe we actually wait on this until Hungary would join. We might be able to get it all in one fell swoop. If not, we could at least get a toehold over here. Drinopoli. How's this war that you're in, Revolutionary Hungary? How's that? Oh, you're not actually in a war. Ottomans are in a war with the Knights, France, French Louisiana, French Mexico, fluoride, fluoride, that's what it says, and the Papal State. Okay, well... Interesting. Let's... Let's roll up a general here. That's not... An awful general. Move up to Isil. These guys will stay put for now. And we'll just get into position so we can declare when we're ready. I don't... I mean, we could pay off some of Hungary's debt. That'd be kind of funny. <laughs> it's an option. Go away, knights. Okay. How close are we here? 10.0% still. I mean, maybe we just purchase another base manpower in Gonder? Did that bring us up to 10.1%? It did. Okay, so this will cost 4,500. Let's go ahead and take a couple of loans. And now, we'll wait. We won't take the last loan. It'll be a couple of months, and then we'll be able to embrace that. Forty-four ninety-four, to be precise. Now, we can't actually ask for a contribution from the burgers, which is a bit unfortunate. Expand the bodyguard. The office of High Counselor is challenged by enemies within and without, and thus a strong personal bodyguard is essential to ensure that he remains in power. The turbulent politics of our time require this, but there are those who decry it, claiming that this new trend displays aristocratic tendencies and subverts the traditions of the Republic. Free stability, lose 10 Republican tradition, or gain 5 Republican tradition. We'll take the free stab. Excellent. Coast has been raided. That's fine. 
I guess we will take this last loan. Nah, well, I mean, we're, we're like two months away. I can be patient. Okay, we'll go ahead and activate the fort in Isil for now. Okay, the Ottomans are losing this war. Which means we need to go. Russia would come in. We'll go ahead and call them in. And we need to push up to Biga immediately. Fadl has insulted us. That's fine. They can do that. Hmm. That's a bit unfortunate there. We don't want to fight the Ottomans if we can help it. We want them to win this war. So, yeah, we'll, we'll just do this for now. Next month, we'll be able to embrace Enlightenment, which will be great. Bringing our costs for the rest of the game down to 0% penalty. Okay, we got tech. Looks like the Ottomans capped Sug Sugla back. The levy. In time, uh, in time, many of the everyday occurrences in the life of our High Counselor and his predecessors has become the subject of ceremony. Being able to attend the bedroom of the ruler as he dresses, for instance, is considered by many to be the best way to gain the ear of the High Counselor. An elaborate court life will certainly limit the power of our nobles to plot against us in their countryside properties, but it would also prove quite expensive. Denying them the right to be part of the daily life of our High Counselor entirely, on the other hand, would also limit their influence, but the nobility would likely resent it. Uh, let's keep it at a modest level. We don't be want to be spending tons of money right now. Also, why can't we... Because it now costs 45, 12, 72. That's why. We should be able to after this month. Which we can. Excellent. 29% reduction in costs. Fantastic. Excellent. Institution tech penalty of 0%. Okay. We'll go ahead and move this army up here just to be kind of defensively positioned. We'll go ahead and roll up a, a general for it. To maneuver. That's not bad. Okay. So, this is obnoxious that the knights are doing this right now. But we can still kind of leapfrog our way up this way. And in fact, we should go ahead and grab this immediately. We need Biga, at the very least. So, I mean, ultimately, we can grab just Biga. Or we can connect it kind of like that. But that'd be really, really bad. I think we just grab Biga. So we'll go ahead and make our way up this way. In fact, no sign of the Ottoman army right now. We're going to go up like this. No, 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 knights, no, no, allied with France and the Papal State, we have no CB, oh, wait, 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 they're still going, they're still going, yeah, Excellent. Okay, Russia's here. We got what we need. <laughs> Work complete. Local traders demand aid. Merchants and captains of trade vessels in Manabe have sent a representative to the government, describing their home as an increasingly lawless land. So, they have enough money, I think. Let's, let's check here, though. Manabe. That's here. Unrest of minus six. Yeah, this is fine. No problem. Mecca, how you doing? 10.2 years? Okay. 
Your unrest is still decaying away. Sounds good. We'll go ahead and move these guys back to Sharkia. With Russia here, there's no concern. Okay. You want out yet, Ottomans? We have what we want. We would probably just, like, take money. Or reps. Let's see, who would be angry at this? Fadl, Hajaz, Ottomans, Iraq, and Armenia. That's not a concern. Okay. We'll go ahead and group up over here. There we go. And now, once we take this, we should be able to fabricate at least on Drinapoli. But Constantinople would be basically all we would need and want. Drinapoli would just be an excuse, and I'm not sure we'd actually be able to grab anything else. Okay, let's go up here. We may as well continue occupation. Finish this up real quick. Let's see. It's mostly just a man succeed war score. This is, of course, a conquest of tech. We may grab more than tech, though. May or may not. So, at this point, the Ottomans aren't a concern, and we just need to get into Hungary. The real problem with that is their alliance with Russia. And the question is, can we take Russia? And the answer is, not really. Look at that. They're pretty strong. I mean, we probably could, but do we want to, is the real question. And I think the answer is, we would prefer not to. Our treasurer died. That's no good. I mean, yearly prestige. It's mediocre. <laughs> But at least we still get the monarch points. That's what's really important, I guess. You want out of this? No, because demand succeed war score. Okay. I mean, they're basically fully occupied at this point, and we're significantly limiting what the knights can actually grab, which is always amusing. I'm a big fan of limiting the knights. Also, the cat decided that right now is when she definitely 100% needs out. So, sorry about this, but BRB. Okay, I am back. And apparently we occupied some things. Good job, us. Well, we, uh, may as well head home, I guess. This war appears to be over. We pretty much got what we need. So, yeah, let's head home. We'll go to Sharkia. This, this army can go to Alexandria. So, yeah, there's that done. You want out yet, Ottomans? We're at 43% war score. Minus five reasons. Hmm, that's interesting. Well, with length of war and ticking war score, we'll get there. That'll also allow us to repay one of our loans, which would be good, because we are currently paying 13 ducats a month in interest, which is altogether more than I'd prefer. Ottomans are currently 100% occupied by various people. Interestingly, we apparently occupy Atina. I'm not sure how that happened, <laughs> but I'm okay with it. You want this yet? No? Minus one reasons? Sounds good. Now minus five. Minus four. I mean, we could drop this down slightly. Again, that's a terrible deal. We'll take the autonomy. It's just an awful, awful deal. I mean, it's not 
literally the worst deal I've ever seen, but it's 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 pretty bad. I'm sure we have enough men anyway. What could go wrong? We have some poor quality iron right now. Knights have raided, as expected. Let's see, we are currently slightly behind time on everything. So we'll not put any monarch points into ideas. We're at 112 out of 172, so we could actually probably build another army if we decided to. Minus two reasons here. The knights are currently at 72. They're probably going to try to wait it out as well. Hey, Ottomans would actually accept this right now. Actually, 13 reasons. They wouldn't accept that. I mean, we don't need teak. Tech. Whatever you want to call it. What we would want, though, is we would want maybe enforced military access. Let's see. Enforced military access. They wouldn't quite accept this. Hmm. I mean, we don't really have a way to get up here right now. Okay, hypothetically, who hates this? Ottomans, Fadl, Hejaz, Iraq, Armenia, Nikor, and Kazembe. I feel like we're better off just doing this. Oh, we're only going to get 159 ducks out of this. <laughs> oh, lol. Okay. Um, yeah. I, I feel like this is probably going to be the best deal that, we, that we're going to get here. We could enforce military access... Which would establish a truce for a while. But we could just use Biga as a staging area. Right? Alternately, we could continue to just wait this out. See what else we can get from it. I mean, I'm not sure that's super useful, though. We can build some transports up here, or more likely... Yeah, we, we, we could build transports up here. Negative 13 reasons. Let's just wait it out with the enforced military access. I like that better. It's only 13 reasons. Length of war modifiers plus ticking war score should should even that one out. We can get another 17 more war score, so... Hey, we can also get a tech here. The Constitution, Admin Tech 22. A new philosophical concept called constitutionalism has been developed where the government accepts legal limits to its power. This is an intriguing idea, but I can't see it catching on. We could choose a new idea group. And we'd probably take a military group. Like, quality ideas, maybe? There we go. Persia has made us sad, as expected. We're going to keep investing in our tech for now. Oh, the knights actually finished their war. We're at 99% war score here. We could... Okay, hypothetically... That takes more war score than this does. Okay. We don't care about the Ottomans. We don't care about Fadl. We don't care about Hejaz. We don't care about Iraq. We don't care about Armenia. We don't care about Nakor. We don't care about Kazembe. However, if this coalition actually forms, it could prevent us from fighting Hungary. Let's go back to the original plan. 
of taking Biga, maxing out our gold. We do get war reps. Let's see, war reps. And enforced military access. There we go. Ethiopia. Karasi. Now the question is, what's the supply limit there? Kind of low. We could think about maybe getting rid of this regimental camp or this naval equipment manufactory. Let's get rid of this. And instead, build ourselves... Hmm. I, I did not think this through, did I? It is not here where we would build the supply the, the supply thing, but through that. Yeah. Okay, so we'll go ahead and move this army into Karasi. And we will fabricate a claim here, assuming we can. Uh, fabricate claims. Constantinople. Bam. Okay. Work complete. Now we just need to figure out how to fight revolutionary Hungary without fighting Russia. And the answer is, well, it, it's a complicated question. They're actually relatively close to breaking their alliance with Russia. Because they have negative 100 trust with Russia. Hang on a moment. Russia would join here. France would not. France is defender of the Catholic faith. That's what's going on. Okay. Hmm. Russia. I don't suppose you would break your alliance with revolutionary Hungary. No. However, well, doing it that way, we would incur a truce with revolutionary Hungary. We could fight the Ottomans, who are guaranteed, of course. We'll unpause and get our troops in position while we try to figure out a way to do this. Um... Demands for representation. A number of hostile publications have begun to circulate in the cities of Ethiopia. Anonymous, yet very critical, authors claim that our government is autocratic and demand both a written constitution and a parliament where the various parts of our country can be represented. We could ban them, or we could make vague promises of reform, which I think we'll do. We can also go ahead and start coring this new territory that we took as soon as we have enough which will be what next next month yes okay there we go right about now there we go we'll move you up into easel can we get rid of this regimental camp from here I don't think we want to, actually. Never really used regimental camps. I often don't get into the late game in Europa. But this time we have. Probably going to play this straight to the end of the game at this point. Even if we take Constantinople, which we will soon-ish. As soon as we figure out a way to fight revolutionary Hungary. How strong is revolutionary Hungary right now, anyway? Uh, 53k troops. Kind of weak. Sounds good. They're Miltec 25. Of course, so are we. And we're pushing Miltec 26 here soon. Land morale plus one is going to be huge in those fights. We'll go right on through here and kill these guys for the Ottomans. There we go. You can go ahead and build a supply depot. So that you no longer are taking an attrition hit there. Excellent. So, hang on. Does that last a... 
Yeah, it's temporary. It's a five-year thing, or until an enemy occupies or takes the province. Gotcha. Sounds good. So we'll do the same thing up here in Karasi. Regimental camp there. And let's go ahead and mothball that fort. We'll keep this fort around. We'll mothball it too, though. There we go. We are currently losing money. Is it because of reinforcement? It is because of reinforcement. Sounds good. That won't be the case for very long. Of course, we're also paying a large chunk of money in interest. We'll, we'll just bump down our army maintenance to about half so that we're making money. There we go. Can pull this guy out of Revolutionary Hungary. We're not going to be putting anything in an idea for a little bit since we need to advance our tech rather swiftly. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here. We're going to attempt to figure out a way to break the alliance between Revolutionary Hungary and Russia or just not have Russia come in here. Russia would currently come in. France would not. France has never wanted to come in. So they need 49 reasons to break this, but of course we don't want to break it from this side. Revolutionary Hungary and France. Would France actually help them? France would actually help Tuscany. Interesting. Now, I don't think we have any sort of leverage on Tuscany to break their alliance with France. No. Huh. Well... They're allied with Russia. We probably could beat Russia, but it would be hard. It would be a long, slow drudge. I mean, we would only need Constantinople. I don't know. What I do know is that we need to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and next episode... We'll try to see what we can do. Actually, probably between episodes, I'll, I'll see if I can come up with a plan for fighting Revolutionary Hungary basically immediately so we can get this achievement on lockdown and not worry too, too much about the timer anymore. See you all then.